grab it here. I just thought I'd uh, visit the um, world of um, analog panel meters and um, why should they be used and why. You know, analog panel meters, they come in various different sizes. Like here we have a little bit larger sizes, here a bit smaller, and even smaller here. And um, you can get them for the normal um, values like uh, AC voltage, AC current, and the same with DC. You can get it for um, uh, DC current and DC voltage. Also, as you see on the displays, we have different ranges. So you can have you know, like up to certain voltages or up to certain currents or between certain currents and certain voltages. And um, you know, uh, I think these are quite nice because you know you maybe not want to um, like buy lots of multimeters. You might want want to have like single values to measure, and um, you might want to have them connected for a longer time. And for example, on equipment when it's like if it's in adverse environmental conditions like if there's vibrations and temperature swings and stuff then these usually survive quite well. Also most of these are quite cheap so you can actually um, afford to buy more than one. Um, I suppose the, the drawback is that one could argue that oh, they're not so accurate they're more difficult to read and that's a more subjective thing and um, uh, also, the internal resistances in these, of course, are not really uh, super comparable to a real meter. But um, but if if one feels that one is getting um, uh, you know if affecting the circuit by adding one of these, um, then one can actually take the multimeter, just replace it, and see what the multimeter says instead. See if the results are the same. And you can actually, I found that one can very easily use them with. Um, with one of these prototyping boards also, breadboards, because uh, what you can do is that you can, um, like I'm down here, you just take, you can actually show, you can take some of these automotive connectors and then you just take some of these connection wires for the prototyping board and then you can just like crimp it onto the end of that and then you can actually screw it onto the back of the meter. So all these are basically two poles, so if it's um, AC voltage then you just take the two wires come here for, uh, for sensing and if it's a current meter then it's in and out. And the only drawback is that many of these meters that I have at least they don't mark which is the positive and which is the negative terminal so one has to actually test it. Well, that's, um, so we have these two leads here now. So, okay. Plus and minus, and then shows you, the, for example, in this case, I'll show you the voltage. Or if I wanted to take current, no, that's, not, that's not big enough. We can take this one 10 milliamps, that's still not good enough. Now, this one shows up to a now you see. You can select between different ranges, so now I'm taking one that shows between 0 and uh, 100 million milliamps. So that will be good enough for measuring the current to the lead. to 20 milliamps. So that's, um, so I think they're kind of very practical to even, even, even use for breadboard development and um, then one can actually have one, have the multimeter for more general use. And um, what I thought I'd do now is that we could actually have a look and see what one of these or one of these analog meters contains inside. Since actually, sadly, one of them was quite bad. It got 
<laughs> crunched in um, delivery. So uh, actually, this meter. I mean, it, it probably. I think it probably would work, but it's um, uh, it's the glass. The the plastic is a bit crashed. So I thought we'd have a look at this. Um, open it up and see what. See what. So anyway, here's our slightly damaged um, meter. So let's um. See if we can get it open. And there's two screws on the front. So anyway, here we see the actual back, back panel. And as you see, it's got a bit damaged in. Oh, let's get it into the camera. It's got a bit damaged in um, transport, so it should actually be straight. But the thing that we should notice that this this is something that one can just replace. So actually, there is an option. You can you can even make your own back panels and um, make the scale something else. Just demonstrate how to remove. So you could have milliamps coming through the meter, but you could you could actually print your own paper or even plastic-based laminated back back panel with your own own units on it. So, so here you see that's the raw mechanism, just like that. So here you basically have a coil, and then there's a permanent man magnet, and a little bit of a, an adjustment screw to get the zero zero point in place. Okay. And then, okay, those are just those screws. And then here's those two screws at the back. Let's see if we can we can disassemble this and see what happens. that just has the wires. Ah, look, there's the uh, resistor, because this is a current measure, we're measuring um, yeah, it's just the normal. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Come on, focus. The normal, normal current machinery, the normal resistors. Current comes in and then it goes out, and then the, the voltage actually and there's a voltage division because the the coil coil around the permanent magnet actually represents a resistance. So part of the current will throw, and part of the there'll be a vo basically a voltage drop over that, and then the, it'll create a current in, into the um, coil that will then make this. So oh, let's, let's have a look and see if we can take the main part out. I might have to cut these leads. No, actually, they might actually go through there. If I can't slot it through there, then I'll cut the leads. Because th this, is, I don't know if I, as I said, this meter probably works. But it has been quite twisted. So, yeah, that's what I guess that, that that won't fit through. But I think I might might um. Oh. 
Uh, not go through. Ah, I think we um, I just cut these these leads here. close to the source then. If I ever get the crazy idea of putting it back together. So now I should be able to pull that out. Yes, there we go. <coughs> so okay, here's the um, the outside shell metallic. Oh, look, I can get that out. Ha <laughs> ha! Take it all apart. Oh, what's that? And then this, <coughs> this is the permamagnet. magnetic and then here's the coil that goes around it and the current goes through those wires comes in goes around in the coil and then comes out and that causes the one with the needle that shows up in the camera because it's just here it's that thing and then it will deflect the needle and then it's calibrated to show so that a certain angle get, is a certain color, color, up to a certain accuracy level. So, anyway, that's, um, I can line up these parts. So let's go that, and basically, the needle part, the Trying to put the, the part so that I can show. Oops. Should actually zoom out a bit. Ah, well. So anyway, but basically, if I wanted to make a different uh, a different current meter, then one just changes out the back panel and then change the resistor, and then one can actually keep this the same for all um, DC currents. So that's that's how it works. And as I said, I could probably put this back together again in working order, but uh, but it was um, quite badly smashed, so I don't know. It probably doesn't pick it up that well in the camera. So you can see that's supposed to be straight. <laughs> so and then this got bent also. So, so I don't ah, I don't think I'll use it. I think I'll I'll order a new one. Probably the new Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Anyway, I hope you um enjoyed this introduction. Of course there are a multitude of more variants of um analog, so-called analog uh, meters, they, the panel meters, they, they are um, meters for for other like frequency and stuff, but they, they actually are a little bit more specialized. And, uh, so usually I, I use them for voltage and current measurement, either AC or DC. Um, yeah, and um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hit the bell icon to get notified for more. Be more uh, videos coming, and um, tell other people that might be interested in you know, using panel meters. I found them very useful, and um, I'll see you in the next one.